Hey, what's up, hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to record your iOS device on any iOS, including iOS 9. This method does not require a jailbreak, but it does require a computer, because as of the release of this video, all non-jailbreak and no computer screen recorders like iRec and Show are not working. However, check the description to see if they are working as the developers are working hard to make them work and you may be watching this in the future. Nevertheless, if you have a computer and are ready to learn how to record your iOS device, please hit that like button as I tried my best to make this tutorial as clear and easy to follow. Now, without any further ado, Let's head into the tutorial. All right, this is going to be a tutorial for Windows and Macintosh computers. However, I will start with Mac. So if you are using a Windows computer, make sure you check the description for a timestamp to as when I start explaining the Windows tutorial. Nevertheless, if you're on a Mac and on yours might and above, you can check by clicking the Apple logo and going to About This Mac. You can natively record using QuickTime by starting a new movie recording and connecting your iOS 8 and above iOS device to your computer via lightning cable or whatever it is that you use and setting the camera to the device. As you can see, I'm using a 5S. So I have my 5S connected there and the microphone is also the 5S so that it will natively record the sound that comes out of the phone. So as you can see, once you hit the record button, it'll start to record whatever it is that you are doing on your phone. However, there is a bug that when you change the orientation of what you're recording it does crash as you can see here although it does crash it does save everything you did up until the crash and you can easily save by hitting the exit button and typing the name of what you want to export and where you want to export nevertheless you still can record games in different orientations but make sure that you're already on that orientation before you start the recording so for example I was trying to record Minecraft, I had to make sure that I already had the new movie recording going and Minecraft already open to make sure that I can record that game. So just keep note that whenever you're recording, if the orientation ever changes, it will end your recording, but you still will be able to save it. Nevertheless, from here on, we're going to move to the Windows tutorial, which is a bit different. So if you're on a Macintosh user and you're not on OX Yo's mic, this Windows method will work for you on a Mac as well, but if you do have option to the QuickTime method, it is much easier. Okay, so for Windows users, the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is open your favorite web browser. Once you have your favorite web browser open, you're going to paste in the URL the link that is in the description below for Reflector 2. Reflector will be the application that we'll be using to record our iOS device. Once you get to the Reflector 2 page, as you can see, it is now compatible with iOS 9 and go ahead and click on Try Reflector 2. Now, Reflector 2 is a paid application. However, they always offer a free seven day trial. So you can go ahead and try it out by clicking download. However, you will need to know what bit version your Windows computer is on. If you don't know, all you have to do is open your control panel, go to system properties, and then from here, you can see what bit version your computer is on. As you can see, mine is on 32 bit. So once you know what bit your Windows computer is, you can go ahead and start the download for Reflector 2. Reflector 2 is a great application and I actually used this for a good amount of time before Yo's mic came out with the native recording for Macintosh computers. So I would use Reflector 2 on a Macintosh computer because it does run on Windows, Mac, and Linux. However, once the download is done, go ahead and click on it and run. I'm going to be showing you how to install it. As you can see, just follow along what I'm doing. It's very straightforward. However, there's also a step-by-step -step tutorial that's offered by Reflector as well as you can see here. Nevertheless, Reflector is pretty cool. And I know for some people it is a bit difficult because it is a paid application, but if you're very serious about recording your iOS device and starting a YouTube channel, whatever the case may be, Reflector 2 is not a bad investment and I definitely recommend it if you're not using a Macintosh computer that has the free version that I showed you earlier. When Reflector is done, you can go ahead and hit finish and Reflector will actually install an alias onto your desktop. As you can see, I have one here, but if you want to find it, 
you just need to go to your applications and you'll see reflector 2 is now there so once you open reflector it's not an actual application but the first time you do open it it'll ask you if you have a license key if you purchase reflector or if you want to try it now as you can see i'm just going to go ahead and click try reflector 2 as i have not purchased reflector 2 on my windows uh, computer so once you open reflector you'll see that it is on the bottom right hand corner of your toolbar as you can see it's right here and then i'm going to go ahead and show you guys my ios device here because i am using a macintosh computer to emulate windows so what you want to do is open your ios device go to airplay and then you're going to see that it says your mac pro and you want to make sure that you turn windows mirroring on and it'll actually have the name of the device that you're using on windows but because i am emulating windows on my com macintosh computer i can't use reflector but the macintosh version is exactly the same as the windows version so just follow along what i'm doing on screen which is turning on airplay and then picking your uh, windows or macintosh computer and then as you can see all you do have to do is hit record and it'll start your recording you can set your microphone if you also want to record voice at the same time and then if you click on the settings you can see all the preferences and all that good stuff you can choose to record with a frame or without the frame the choice is yours reflector is a great application it's very simple to use and i'm sure you guys will enjoy using it and i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did then please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated and subscribe for more awesome tutorials like this one